Hello everybody, my name is Marlo and today I'm going to try build a house in Minecraft using every single wood type. Oak, spruce, birch, jungle, acacia, dark oak and even crimson as well as warped. So I need to make something using all eight of these wood variants. These three, oak, spruce and dark oak, I am extremely comfortable with using. I am pretty sure I use at least one of these in every single build I ever do. <laughs> so they're no problem. These three, birch, jungle and acacia, I use them fairly regularly but nowhere near as often as these three. So I'm confident enough with those. These two wild cards, however, Crimson and Warped, they're gonna make it a bit more of a challenge. And I know these two blocks aren't exactly wood, they don't come from a tree per se, I think it's more of a mushroom, but they do have all of the wood variants that the other ones have. Planks, slabs, stairs, logs, fences, trapdoors, the whole shebang. So we are gonna be using them, even though this video would be so much easier if I didn't. But where's the fun in that, really? So I should say I am going to be using all of these blocks to a decent degree. I'm not just going to hide a crimson button around the back of the build and call it there. No, I will use them a fair amount. I'm not sure how I'm going to use them or how I'm going to blend all of these blocks together, but I'm going to try my best. And the first thing we're going to do is lay out the shape of the build. So after probably too much thinking and block placing, this is what I've come up with. And I think it's a pretty good size. Not too big, not too small. It should fit the job very nicely. So as you can see, we got some different rectangle shapes. There's sort of three of them placed around. And on each of these edges, we're going to have like a roof point. I've got an idea in my head of how this is going to look basically. But this thing, in case you are wondering, it's going to be a tower. So this will be the front of the house. We'll have a big tower out the front which I think will look pretty cool and the rest of it will just look like a fairly ordinary house except from the fact it's made out of every single wood type. But hopefully when we're all done with this it actually will look fairly ordinary. That's kind of the plan here. I want to make something that doesn't look hideous. Yeah, setting my sights high for this one. I've already had an idea of how we can use the warped wood and quite a lot of it too. So sometimes with my builds I like to add in a stone foundation. Now I probably could use stone and it would still count as using every wood type as long as I actually use them but I want to do only the wood types with this build at least aside from detail blocks you know I, I, I can't have a wooden lantern or a wooden flower pot they're not in the game but for the main building blocks they're all going to be the wood ones so we can't use stone so I was thinking instead of having a stone foundation what if we use the stripped warp stem it kind of has a grayish tone to it and I think maybe we could pass this off as some sort of weathered stone look um I can't tell just yet if this is gonna look okay I guess the only way to find out is to keep on going. For the pillars of my build, I would quite like to use the strip dark oak log. This is one of my favorite blocks in the game. It's definitely my favorite strips log, and it's just a really nice block for pillars. But I don't really like how these textures connect, except they're different colors. So I think we need to get some sort of divider going around this top level here. Spruce trap doors are always the answer. I definitely think this helps separate the two wood types here. So these are great and all, unless you're on a corner then we got a bit of a problem because obviously I can't do that so we're gonna have to put some sort of block here and I think this is going to be one of the main just like full blocks that I'm going to give myself the option to use which is the barrel as you can see here it's made out of wood so I, I'm gonna say it's okay <laughs> so what we're gonna do is just place a barrel like this in the corner and then we'll have something on top of it so you won't be able to tell that it's a barrel up there and then maybe just some fences underneath it for all of the corners and that nicely fills in that spot so yeah I got a couple of them one over here I got another one over here and I think that's actually it we may have to put one more next to the tower here but I'm gonna get the main part of the build done before I worry about this big tool thing I think the next thing I want to work on is the roof, kind of get that general shape in place before doing any of the walls. That's my usual process for building houses, so I may as well stick to that. So I want to have the outline out of dark oak wood, so it kind of matches with our pillars here. I need to just figure out what block is going to go in the main part of the roof. So these would be on like the outside, and then I'll have to fill it in with something. Usually I would use spruce, but... 
I feel like I need to be quite conservative with the spruce, otherwise I'll overdo it. <laughs> I know I will, I use that too much, so spruce is a no-go. We got jungle, those two actually blend quite well together, I've used them a lot before, so that's definitely a consideration. Oak is kind of in the same boat as spruce, I can use that virtually whenever, so I don't want to waste it on the roof. Birch, ah, it's just too much of a difference, I think, and crimson, maybe? <laughs> oh no, okay, I am going to have to use this one sparingly, it's just so bright, I, I don't think it would be a good idea to have the entire roof made out of it, so yeah, I think dark oak and jungle is a pretty good pairing. Here is the roof outline, all laid out with our dark oak wood, and I am satisfied with the outcome of this. I'm not sure how satisfied I'm going to be when it's all filled in with jungle, but I'm just going to try it and I can always replace it with spruce if it really looks that bad. It's a lot of jungle, I know. Maybe even too much jungle, you could say. <laughs> but don't worry because some of it will be getting replaced. Like at the front here, the tower is going to come up and split this part of the roof in half, pretty much. So I'm not too worried at the fact that this looks frankly awful, like all of this over there. I'm not keen on it, but it's okay because it's going to be changed up when we do eventually get around to the tower, which may honestly be the next step. But yeah, for the most part, I'm actually quite happy with how this looks. I think these two blocks go quite nicely together. As you can see, I've carved away where the tower is going to be going into the roof because that is what we're going to do now. And I think this is where we should start branching away from this block palette that we have and start using some of the other ones. You can do that when adding towers into your builds, kind of do something a little bit different. So I'm thinking if we can get away with using some acacia, maybe some birch and possibly crimson if we could get that in there as well that'll tick quite a few of them off the list and i i think that's probably the best way to go about it so i'm gonna do my best to make an acacia birch crimson tower yeah i don't really like the sound of that either Okay, I know this looks awful, so please bear with me here. It's missing all of the windows, a doorway, and other bits of detail. It, it will look nicer, but something I kind of want to direct my attention towards right now is doing something with the transition between the blocks here, because this is just an instant switch between acacia log and stripped birch log, which just is kind of painful on the eyes. It's a bit too sudden. We need something to split it up. So I've had a mess around with some of the slabs that we could use. And I think warp slabs are actually going to be our best bet here, or at least the one that I think I prefer. So that way we get rid of the ability to see the just instant switch between the two blocks and we get a little lip going around just to break it up slightly. So yeah, we're going to do something with that probably a bit more intricate and detailed than just a straight up ring. We'll get some stairs and that sort of stuff involved. But we're going to do that for the acacia to birch and I'm going to try build the roof here out of crimson. Now we're obviously going to have to do a similar thing because that I mean yeah that, that's a no-go. That is far too contrasty. So I'm thinking for this one we maybe do it with spruce. That way once again we just get that split and it's not quite so sudden on the eyes. This is going to be a really weird looking tower but hopefully a cool one when it's done. I don't hate it. In fact, I think I actually might like it. <laughs> I'm always a bit embarrassed to say that because this is weird looking. I, I fully understand that. It is not a normal block palette, but I'm kind of digging it in a little bit of a strange way. So yeah, we've managed to get some crimson in into our roof. I actually kind of like this roof design. I wish I could use walls because then I could make the top of the tower look a bit better instead of just having a lonely fence up here. But yeah, there's the crimson, there's the birch, and there's the acacia, as well as some more warped and spruce. So yeah, that's a pretty weird, cool looking tower. <laughs> I'm happy with that one. Time to add in all of the detail, of course. It's not staying like this. So there we go, a fully decorated tower. And like I said, I'm actually pretty happy with how this turned out, surprisingly so. But I thought we'd just take a step back here and reconvene to the point of this video, and that is to build using all of these wood types. So I'm curious if we've actually got them all by now. We got some oak here with the oak fences. 
We got the spruce up there as well as in various parts of the build. We got birch, obviously. We got jungle with the whole part of the roof. We got acacia down the bottom here as well as some acacia trap doors. We have dark oak, of course. Crimson up the top and then warp down the bottom. So there we go. Bingo. We've done them all. Obviously, there's a couple there that are lacking like the acacia and the oak and probably could do with using some more spruce. So I think those three are going to be the main blocks that I use to do the rest of the walls around here. But before we do that, I would like to sort out this part of the roof. Adding in the tower, it helped, but it still looks weird. <laughs> so I'm thinking if we can make this three wide all the way up, we can actually turn it into a window of sorts. So maybe if we make this into a stair just to get a bit of a smoother area, something a bit like this or maybe a slab. Not that I have one. Does that look better? maybe <laughs> and then we possibly bring this up a little bit and just add in another slab just to get a bit of a curvature all the way up to that point i don't think that looks too bad necessarily but yeah we can just make this into a window by adding in our oak fences obviously don't really want to use glass panes if i don't have to with some trapdoors behind it as a shutter so yeah i i'd say that's a definite improvement so yeah, now it's time to go around and complete all of the walls with our acacia, oak, and spruce. Maybe I'll chuck in a couple of others too if I see like it's going to be a good fit. But this should be fairly simple. It's blocks I'm comfortable with using and I've done stuff like this a million times. So hopefully it shouldn't be too bad to figure out on the fly. So there we go, that was not too bad at all. Like I said, it's colors and blocks I'm familiar with, so this was easy enough to piece together. And all in all, I think this has come together quite nicely. There is just one last thing I'm debating with adding in, and that is a chimney, once again using our stone block here. <laughs> so let's not build a full one, let's not break any blocks, but if we just like place some down like this, make a big two by two chimney going up to, let's say one more, put our campfires on top and surround them with some spruce trap doors. Those are probably the best thing to use for campfires or for uh, chimneys because you can't see through them. How does that look? I like it from the front. That's for sure. I just don't know what it's going to look like around the back. Obviously, it's not fully connected, so just kind of imagine it's actually going in. Um, you know what? Sure, let's add it in. This is a weird enough build. I don't think an extra weird thing is going to make a difference. However, I am going to move it over a block to here instead. There we go, chimney added, which means the build is all done. I'm not going to do the interior for a couple of reasons. One, the whole purpose of this video is mainly for the exterior of the build. The interior isn't really needed. I, I could do something, but it would be a lot of time that I'd waste on a, a single build in a single world for a single video that I'm never going to use again. So yeah, not going to do the interior. Hopefully you guys can understand. The last thing to do is to take an obligatory look with shaders on and as you may have guessed it makes it look a whole lot prettier. <laughs> this is a really awesome build. I'm actually quite happy with how this turned out. I did not think it would go anywhere near as well as it has especially with the warped and the crimson and a couple of others. You know jungle and birch I don't use them very often so I think I've done a pretty okay job at incorporating them into the build but let's just take one final look back and do a count of all of the blocks. So we have oak, spruce, dark oak, acacia, birch over here, jungle for the roof, and hopefully I haven't missed any other than the warped and the crimson. So, yep, I think I have managed to tick them all off the list. So there we go, everybody. That is going to do it for this video. I really hope you did enjoy. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.